Um, how are you feeling about tonight? Uh, well, I'm optimistic for not just my own election, but for the fortunes of the Democratic Party. I think in Albany County, it's a good, optimistic, uh, forward-facing message that we're able to bring to the voters. I'm really excited about uh, my uh, companions on the ticket, and we've all been campaigning really hard uh, for a very long time. So uh, I'm really excited about uh, tonight. And, you know, what have been some of the key issues of this campaign, you know, in talking to constituents, you know, what would have been some of the big issues and how do you feel like you've tried to address them? There are a few concerns and people understand that public safety is paramount and there's, um, people are concerned about crime, not just on their street, but they're concerned about their neighbors and the people who live and maybe some of some of the not nice parts of uh, Albany in the county. Um, so they want to make sure that the district attorney's office is doing everything to uh, make sure public safety is front and center. And a well-run, efficient uh, DA's office um, that uses its tax dollars wisely. When I went door to door and between Early March and last night, I've probably myself been to 5,000 doors and talked to twice as many voters. And those are the issues that kept coming up again and again is how can we fix the violent crime right here? How can we use our tax dollars wisely? wisely? Um, you know, what can this DA's office do uh, going forward? Yeah. Do you have any questions? I suppose so. Um is this your, forgive me, is this your first experience taking public office? No, I actually lost 12 years ago. I lost in the primary. I see. So it's been a number of years then. <laughs> in 2012, I ran in the Democratic primary for district attorney and I lost. And I promised myself uh, uh, and my wife I was never going to do it again. But this opportunity came along and the party was uh, much more supportive of my campaign. And um, hmm. we won, and yeah. we turned our fortunes around and won by more than 2,300 votes in the primary. Yeah. Mm. So what motivated you to, like, jump back into things? Well, I work in the criminal justice system every day, and hmm. being so close to it, I knew. I mean, I just knew that the office wasn't, wasn't run well. Uh, I knew we were missing opportunities. I knew that... Uh, good men and women who worked there had left or wanted to leave. Um, so those things, just wanting a criminal justice system that was run well, has, has always been near and dear to my heart. The opportunity came when, of course, it was disclosed that Soros pocketed $23,000 in taxpayer funds. Um, and once you do that, once you abuse public trust like that, you know, that that really provided me an opening to say, look, I can do this better. And uh, away we went. Hmm. Well, thank you so much. I think there are also the questions we have now.